Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at decorators in Python. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and also hit on the bell icon so that you will never miss an update from us. The agenda for today's uh, tutorial is the following topics. First, we'll be taking a look at the prerequisites required to learn decorators. Then we'll move on to the definition of decorators. And then later we'll be taking a look at an example to better understand the definition of the decorator. And finally, we'll be taking a look at uh, use cases and in which scenarios decorators are used. Prerequisites. These are the following prerequisites you should be knowing in order to learn about decorators. First class function. First class functions allows us to treat functions as any other objects so that we can use them to pass an argument to another function, return the function from another function, assign the function to another variable. And the next prerequisite is nested function. Python supports the concept of nested function or inner function, which is simply a function defined inside another function. And uh, one more thing is uh, nested function should not be confused with recursive functions. Recursive functions are functions which call themselves but nested functions are functions within another function and finally we should know about closures closure is an inner function that remembers and has access to the variables in the local scope in which it was created even after the outer function has finished executing so when we look at this code snippet we have defined an inner function which just prints out the message and then it returns the inner function as an object and note we are not calling the function here we are just returning it as an object and uh, down here down below we are uh, defining a variable called my function we are assigning the output of the value returned from outer function and then finally we are calling my function the output of the code snippet will be hello so the we can say that uh, inner function is now a closure which holds a free variable which is returned by the outer function definition a decorator in python is a function that takes another function as its argument adds some functionality to it and returns yet another function decorators dynamically alter the functionality of a function method or a class without having to directly use subclasses or change the source code of the function being decorated these are the two uh, definitions of decorators to better understand it we'll be taking a look at an example first we'll be defining a simple function called ordinary and then we're going to be printing out a simple message let's say i am ordinary and now we have to define a decorator for this function. So we we'll just def call that function as make pretty. And inside this function, we're going to be defining an inner function. If you want to make a career in data science, then IntelliPAT has IIT Madras Advanced Data Science and AI Certification Program. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by IIT professors and industry experts. Let's call it inner. Within this inner function, we will be printing out the message. I am decorated. And then we'll, we are going to call the function itself, which is passed as an argument. And then finally, we're going to be returning the inner function. So now if I call ordinary, ordinary, remember guys, ordinary is a function, is a ordinary function as the name suggests. Ordinary. Now when I call the ordinary function, this is going to be the output. Let me just save it and run it. Now if I call ordinary, the control will go here and then it prints out the statement I am ordinary. In order to do that, we are going to pass the ordinary function as an argument to make pretty function. This is done like this. We are now passing ordinary as an argument to make pretty function. And we have to, the output of this should be held in a variable. So I'm just going to define a variable that holds this output. Now pretty is a variable of data type function and we have to call it in order to see the output. So I'm just going to do that. Just add parentheses. And now if I save this and run it, you can see that the first statement is I am ordinary, which is called by this statement. 
and the next statement is make pretty of ordinary first the control goes to the make pretty function and then it prints i am decorated which is outputted here and then it runs the it executes the function here which is passed as an argument now we have passed ordinary function as the argument to make pretty function so uh, the control goes here and it will print i am ordinary which is printed here in the output and finally the control comes out and the output is shown next moving on to use cases decorators in python are used in the following uh, scenarios it is used for authorization in python frameworks such as flask and django it is used for logging function and uh, measuring execution times it finally it is used in synchronization for more tutorials like this uh, you can visit our youtube channel which is intellipat and we also have uh, blogs on our uh, website www.intellipad.com slash blogs where you can find uh, technical articles related to DevOps, cloud computing and uh, data science. If you want to make a career in data science, then Intellipad has IIT Madras Advanced Data Science and AI Certification Program. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by IIT professors and industry experts.